This video will cover the topic solving a distance, rate, time problem using a linear equation. When solving a distance, rate, and time problem, it is important that we identify the information given in the problem and organize it into an equation that will allow us to solve for what the problem is asking for. Let's try out a practice problem. In this problem, there are two trains that leave two stations that are 288 miles apart at the same exact time. One of the trains travels at 95 miles per hour, while the other train travels at 85 miles per hour, and we are asked to find the time that it takes for the two trains to meet. How would we go about starting to solve this problem? To solve this problem, we must create a linear equation that allows us to solve for the time that it takes for the two trains to meet. In this problem, we are given a specific distance that must be traveled. We are given two different rates at which the trains are traveling at. A critical part to solving this problem is knowing that when we multiply a specific rate by a specific time, we will find the total distance traveled in that time. We also know that we will be multiplying both of the rates by the same exact time, because they will both be leaving the station at the same time, and will take the same amount of time to reach each other. If we were to multiply the rate that each train travels by the same time and add them together, we would find the total distance traveled by both trains over a certain time period. And we know that the two trains start 288 miles apart from each other, which is the total distance needed to be traveled by the two trains. To find the time that it takes for the two trains to reach each other, we would set the rate of the first train multiplied by the time plus the rate of the second train multiplied by the time equal to 288 and solve for the time. Doing so, we find that the total time that it took for the trains to meet each other is 1.6 hours. I think I understand what's going on here. To solve a distance, rate, time problem using a linear equation, I think it's important to identify which information is given by the problem and which information must be solved for. We can then create an equation using our information that allows us to solve for what is asked for in the problem. Exactly. Now, with just a little bit more practice, this topic can be mastered.